See, I didn't know that this was going to be a problem. But we're going to have to deal with it because this is real life, people. Sorry. I'm going to try to look over my glasses so that I'm not giving you such a reflection because I just don't feel like taking my glasses off today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something that I think is like pretty fun. It was a tag that I saw going around and it's called YouTube made me buy it. I'm sure there's like a thousand things in my room that I can probably pull for this video, but I have a pretty good amount of products sitting in front of me right now. So we're going to talk about that. And yeah, so if you want to see what YouTube made me buy, then keep on watching. When I started watching YouTube, I started watching Nicole Guerrero, which I'm sure if you have a YouTube account or watch YouTube videos, you know exactly who she is. And um, she made me buy a lot of products at first. And one of the things that she really sold me on was this Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Um, as you can tell, this is probably like my fourth or fifth bottle I'm not even kidding and this is the bigger size I love this it smells like roses and it's just a refreshing face spray I can use it before and after my makeup it's usually when I use it and um, I just I love it and it's cheap it's like seven bucks a bottle and I love it and I will keep repurchasing this over and over and over again Another thing that I really saw on YouTube a lot when I first started watching it was this Josie Marin Argan Oil. This is 100% pure argan oil. I use it all the time. Um, I've used quite a bit of this. What I normally use it for is to mix it in with my cream um, on my hands so that it can really take care of my cuticles because especially now when they're like cracked and dry. I need all the help that I can get. Another thing that I really like about this, and I saw this on the Sephora website, if you look up this product, it will kind of tell you what skin it's good for, what it does, and it's just really helpful when you're looking for skincare products, which is what I was doing. And I was looking for a good eye cream that I can use, just some anti-aging stuff, and this actually came up on there. And what I like is that it said that you can put a drop or two, kind of rub it in between your fingers, and then pat it in all around your eyes. Um, I do that almost every single night, which is probably why it's like, you know, it's so empty. And I don't have any weird side effects from it. I don't get those little white bumps around my eyes that you can get if something is clogging your pores around that area. Um, I don't get any of that. I don't get any burning or tingling, nothing. It's just really nice and it hydrates that eye area, which is very, very sensitive. So um, yeah, that's what I've been using this for and I love it and when I run out I'm probably going to purchase the light one because I want to see what that one's about. So yeah, YouTube made me buy it. Uh, another thing that I saw floating around on YouTube, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go in order of when I bought them, like from the very beginning of when I started watching YouTube up until now. So I'm going to try to do my best. So let me see. What is next? Alright, so the next thing that I saw all over YouTube was this Becca highlighter. This is in the color Moonstone. I saw this thing everywhere. Like everybody, their mother, their grandmother, and their grandmother's grandmother was using this. And for good reason because it's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Um, it's just gorgeous. It just does the talking for you. It's a really pretty champagne color so it's not stark white and yet it's not too too dark so I'm not the fairest of the fair but I'm kind of pale in complexion as well so if you're my skin tone and maybe a couple shades darker you can really use this not for nothing if you have deep skin tone you could probably use this as well and it's gonna look beaming like not everybody loves that intense of a highlight I know I do so if that's really what you want to go for I would definitely try getting this again this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in the color Moonstone. They have a bunch of other colors as well, but um, I really wanted something that was like that champagne -y color. And of course, I saw everybody using it, so I bought it. Alright, the next thing that I bought was this Milani blush. This is in Coral Cove. Now, I don't use this as much as I really should on my channel. It is so beautiful, you guys. I'm going to do a swatch for you, like, look at this, holy Jesus. It's very pigmented, one swipe there and I just, you get pure color. Um, 
So when you do use the Milani blushes, I'm not sure about the rest of them. I don't own every single color, but definitely when you're using Coral Cove, I would go in with a very light hand, but it gives you such a pretty peachy flush to your cheeks uh perfect for like the springtime and the summertime you can wear it all year round for all i care but i really love wearing it during like the spring and summertime because it just gives your face a pop of color and i feel like this would work on a lot of different skin tones which is another reason why i love it and uh, youtube made me buy it all right the next thing is definitely makeup geek eyeshadows when I first started watching YouTube, Makeup Geek shadows were everywhere. And till this day, I still see a lot of people using them. Um, so basically what I did was I went on the Makeup Geek website and I looked at the different collections that they had that you can buy. Each shadow is about five bucks, I want to say. So um, they're pretty affordable shadows and they just work amazing. When you dip your brush into a lot of them, they do have a little bit of pickup. And like they're a little powdery but you just dust the excess off and their pigmentation is incredible for such an affordable eyeshadow and um, so again I went on their website I picked out collections I actually asked for it for Christmas um, my family does celebrate Christmas so I said hey why not ask for makeup Santa will bring it to me I ended up getting these Z palettes to put them in from Amazon I believe all of these shadows here are makeup geek Except for this one. This one is uh, Urban Decay eyeshadow, so just pretend that's not there. And um, all the rest of these are my shades that are not matte. So they have some sh sort of like shimmer or glitter to them or they're uh, dual chrome or something of that nature. So these are like the exciting shadows. And then in this white Z palette that I got again off of Amazon are all of my matte shadows that I got from Makeup Geek. I use these crazy, like especially this color here, Beaches and Cream. I use it all the time. It's gotten a lot of love. I can't believe I haven't hit pan on that yet. Um, all of these beautiful colors just, and I haven't played around with this color as much yet, which is kind of shocking because it's a beautiful like green color. So I, their shadows are just, they're just so awesome, you guys. So if you haven't tried them, you definitely have to try them. And this palette here, again, I got the Z palette from online. Um, I think I got every Z palette that I own off of Amazon. These are their foiled eyeshadows. I believe the collection that I ordered also came with one more. It's probably sitting in that other palette that I have over there. Um, but these are amazing. Like, let me just swatch one for you. There's one swipe. This is the color Pegasus. I'm going to do this on the back of my hand so you guys can see the pigmentation. Like, hello. Yes, God. Let's do another one. This is a beautiful gold color. It's called Fortune Teller. Um, it's definitely a very yellow. Holy, look at this. Oh, my God. Yes. I've just been loving these. And, of course, YouTube made me buy it. The next thing that I had to get when I saw everybody using it, and I still see people using it till this day, is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I always say Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, I don't know how to say it. It's different every time, people. But the Laura Mercier Powder, the Translucent Setting Powder, is awesome. I have dry skin, well combination skin, sometimes I'm oily, but a lot of times in the morning after I wash my face, I'm dry. And I like this powder. I feel like this powder sets my face a lot longer than other powders that I have and it's not a stark white. It's got a little bit of like a ivory tint to it. So that will bring me to my next powder that YouTube made me buy and that's the RCMA No Color Powder. This powder is amazing for people with dry skin. Um, I know people that try it and they have oily skin but why I really like it is because it feels hydrating on the skin. So. I don't feel as dry when I use this powder over like using this powder. If I'm going out and I know I'm going to have makeup on my face for a really long time or you know like a night out on the town and I really want my makeup to stay, I'll use the Laura Mercier powder and it does look good especially after you spray it and it takes away some of the powderiness. It still looks great but I don't know I just I love both of them so much for different reasons and as you can tell this one is just a little bit more ivory in color. And this one's a more stark white. Sorry, I don't want to open that up because it played me, basically, and it broke. So, it's horrible. 
Another thing that I bought because I saw it on YouTube was this Batiste Dry Shampoo and it's the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry Goddess. It's so good. I actually used it in my hair a couple days ago. It smells so good. It smells like cherry, powdery, loving, ugh. It just smells so good and it does an amazing job of soaking up the oils in your hair. Um, a lot of these products I've already talked about on my channel, but again, it's because I love these products. Like, it's not a sponsored video. I'm just saying that right now. Um, but I just, I pull a lot of the products that I use on my channel because A, YouTube made me buy it, and two, I really love them. So, if you are looking for a dry shampoo, and I have dark hair right now. This one does leave a little bit of a white cast, but once you rub it in, it completely goes away. And it just makes your hair smell good. It makes it look fresh. And it's cheap. It's like six bucks or like five bucks buy it this was definitely something that YouTube made me buy the Milani conceal and perfect this was more of like a recent purchase like within the last few months I really have just been into trying new foundations lately I'm in the color light beige so this is a shade too dark or like a shade darker than what I'm used to wearing so um I had to get used to this color wise but I really love the fact that it's a yellow undertone because I am a yellow undertone type of person and it covers like when you put it on your face it's definitely a medium to full coverage foundation and I feel like you could definitely build this up if you wanted to if you wanted like more coverage in one area you could definitely build this up the finish on the skin is beautiful like I'm so glad that I bought this because it just comes out like a satin finish it's not matte it's not too dewy it's just beautiful it just sits on the skin so nice and um you know on a day when you're running around maybe you forgot your concealer put this baby right underneath your eyes you're not going to get like a highlighting effect obviously because it's going to be the same color as the rest of your face but it will conceal the dark circle so I like it. It's good for traveling. Um, I love the packaging and um, I love this purchase. YouTube definitely made me buy this and I'm so glad that it did. So this was another product that I definitely bought because of YouTube. This is the Nivea Sensitive Post Balm, Post Shave Balm. And Nikki Tutorials was talking about this so much on YouTube and everybody went out and bought it. I feel like it was just, as soon as she mentioned it, it was off the market. And for good reason because one of the highest ingredients in this is glycerin and that's great to have in a primer because it makes your face tacky and that's what makes your foundation stick and it stays on a lot longer but for me because I have dry skin I'm like so sitting on the floor right now sorry I'm just like moving around because my foot is definitely asleep you know for me I have dry skin and this is hydrating not only is it hydrating but it does keep my makeup on for a long time and I really love it because it's also like five or six dollars and look how much you get that's crazy so YouTube made me buy it another thing that YouTube made me buy is this 9N palette from Morphe this is their blush palette uh hello it's beautiful I am obsessed with using this color up in the corner um, I think I've used every single color in here except for this one and this one every other color I've used these are a little bit too well not so much this one but the bottom one is a little dark for me right now um, maybe in the summertime I can possibly use it for contouring if it's not too glittery I don't know I have to kind of play around with it but I love this palette if you're somebody who's into natural blush looks um, maybe you don't wear a ton of makeup but you like wearing a little something something just to make your face look alive and fresh this is an awesome palette it's so great for like all types of skin tones because it has a range of like light colors and dark colors so I would definitely give this a shot and it was like 20 bucks on the Morphe website and lastly speaking of Morphe my Morphe brushes um, I'm pretty sure I have a couple more laying around but these are just the ones that I decided to grab for the video um, but I love my Morphe brushes oh. And there's a hair on it. I use my Morphe brushes every single day. I cannot tell you of everything that I have bought here, to be honest. Oh, that's kind of hard to say. But this is probably one of the purchases that I love the most. I got such a bang for my buck. These brushes are so affordable. And when you touch them, they feel like high-end brushes. 
and they're so affordable. Honestly, like I was looking for brushes and when I was in the market, I was just looking at all types of affordable brushes because I didn't have a lot of money to spend um, because I'm just trying to build my makeup collection and mess around with makeup. So I was afraid to buy a $50, $60 brush. So I went online and for about $70, I purchased all of these plus one more, I think. I just don't know where it is. It was like the, it's like a flat one. I forget what number it is. But for 70 bucks, I got all of these brushes and they work amazing. Like amazing. So if you're in the market for brushes and you want some good ones, but you don't want to break the bank, give Morphe a try because you won't regret it. So yes, YouTube made me buy it and I don't regret it at all. And I think that's it guys. I think that's everything for this video that YouTube made me buy. YouTube is an addiction. I will say that right now. Um, I love watching my YouTube videos. Everybody around me that loves me knows that. Um, it's kind of like my guilty pleasure. Um, and just like stepping away from the world for a second, you know? We go through so much during our daily lives and this is kind of my time at night when I come home to wind down, to watch my videos and it's like my special place. So when I get on there, there's so many things that I wanna buy and over the last two years, two and a half years of watching YouTube, I've been building my collection a lot. So um, these were some of the first things that I bought and uh, I just, I love them all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't anything spectacular, but like I said, I don't want to skip a week and I had to film something and I actually liked filming this video. I thought it was pretty fun. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. try to look over my glasses as much as I can so then then so that then so that I'm not getting oh my god I can't talk okay so like I said this is gonna be a problem like I have to figure out how to get the reflection not to reflect excuse my hair like my hair I just got out of work and that's what's going on right now but I had to film a video for this week, you guys, because I literally have nothing. I have nothing for this week. I've been so busy planning my wedding, and it's like, kill me now. I need to make wipes in my life. Yeah, I just wiped it on my pants. Oh, girl. My nose is running. I need a tissue. But these shadows in here, are their, are their, what are these called? What is this? Oh, no. It's because I have indigestion. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I wish I was, but I'm not. Alright guys, I gotta go because my USB card is dying and I have to edit this video so I can put it up tomorrow. This is the problems that I have to go through.